You're listening to PetLifeRadio.com. It's Behave with Arden Moore, the show that teaches you how to have harmony in the household with your pets. Join Arden as she travels coast to coast to help millions better understand why cats and dogs do what they do. Get the latest scoop on famous faces, their perfectly pampered pets, and who's walking who in Rin Tin Tinseltown. From famous pet experts and best-selling authors to television and movie stars, you'll get the latest buzz from wagging tongues and tails. Garner great pet tips and have a doggone fur-flying fun time. So get ready for the pause and applause as we unleash your all-behave host, America's pet edutainer, Arden Moore. Welcome to the All Behave Show on Pet Life Radio. I'm your host, Arden Moore. Today, we're going to meet a modern-day Dorothy and her 21st century Toto. That's right. Our special guest grew up in Topeka, Kansas, and she is now unleashing her multiple acting talents in Hollywood and beyond. Always by her side and in her heart is her best pal, Georgie, a 100-pound German shepherd rescued as a pup from an L.A. animal shelter. Please give pause and applause to actress Katie Amanda Keene. Welcome to the show, Katie. Thank you. It's my pleasure to be here. I, uh, I will never turn down an opportunity to talk about Georgie. I love it. I love it. You know, we're going to be chatting with Katie about how she went from bussing tables at a steakhouse in Topeka to landing a starring role in the new ABC family show, Ruby and the Rockets, right after this commercial break. So sit and stay. We'll be right back. Time for a pause. For furry ones, actually, sit and stay. All Behave will be right back. Give your dog some thought. With Dog Thoughts, it's the iPhone application that everyone's talking about. Hey, what do you think of this? A man in Davis, California says he's invented an application for the iPhone that claims it can read your dog's mind. Huh? No, it's true. I read about it on my cat's Twitter page. That's why. Jay Leno talked about it. CBS reported on it. And now you can see what all the buzz is about. Created just for dog lovers, Dog Thoughts makes taking photos of your furry best friend more fun. Shake your dog and read his mind. <gasps> on your iPhone, of course. Take a pic of your pup, shake your phone, and watch as his thoughts appear on the screen. Does he have a bone to pick with you, or is he having a tail-wagging day? Get your Dog Thoughts iPhone app today. Just 99 cents. Go to PetLifeRadioPromotions.com. That's PetLifeRadioPromotions.com. It's time for school for you and your friends, your furry best friends. Train your dog the fun and easy way with Teacher's Pet Sessions. Teacher's Pet host, Pia Silvani, teaches you step-by-step how to train your dog the fun and easy way. You get eight 30-minute live audio training sessions, complete transcripts of each session, plus a basic training manual to get you and your dog off to a great start. Training begins the moment you bring your dog home. Teacher's Pet Sessions offers positive reinforcement training to shape your dog's behavior and encourages upbeat, enthusiastic responses to ensure that your dog will enjoy learning. Teacher's Pet Sessions dog training is fun at both ends of the leash. So listen, learn, and laugh with your dog with Teacher's Pet Sessions. Get your copy of Teacher's Pet Sessions Volume 1 today. To order, go to TeachersPetSessions.com. Hi, this is Pia Salvani, your host. Bring your dog, tug toy, and treats, and get ready to have some fun. TeachersPetSessions.com Want to know what cats like to eat for breakfast? Mice Krispies, of course. Learn everything there is to know about cats on Catitude with your host, Tom Doc. Each week, we'll spotlight a cool cat breed, give up-to-date advice on cat health, and check out spiffy new cat products. So curl up on the couch every week for a perfectly enjoyable time on Catitude. Every week on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com. Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com. 
Obehave is back with more tail wagging ways to achieve harmony in the household with your pets. Now back to your fetching host, America's pet edutainer, Arden Moore. Welcome back to the Obehave Show on Pet Life Radio. I'm your host, Arden Moore. Katie Amanda Keen is in the house. You might have caught her guest appearances on such popular shows as NCIS, that's one of my personal must-sees, CSI New York, Eli Stone, and How I Met Your Mother. Or for you theater goers, you may have been captivated by her performances with the Shakespeare of Orange County, California troupe. That's right. She has taken on the role of Desdemona in Othello, Lady Macbeth in Macbeth, and Catherine in Taming of the Shrew, among other Shakespeare hits. But you know what? Bottom line, listeners, our guest has the acting chops to make you laugh, to make you gasp, and to keep you intrigued. Wow. You know what, Katie? You have such range on the stage and in the movies and on TV. And by the sounds of your bio, it looks like you've also paid uh, plenty of acting dues. So let's get started and trace you from Kansas to Hollywood. Wow, that is, well, I think you've done it. That's an amazing <laughs> job. I was sitting here like very impressed if I didn't, you know, know myself. <laughs> yeah, I was that short little girl in the shadows. Yeah, yeah, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you make me sound very good. I appreciate that. Uh, I am, I am from a small town in Kansas. I mean, it's Topeka is the capital, but it's, it's still a pretty, you know, small town. And um, yeah. I was raised by a single mom and, and we kind of you know, things were, were always a bit of a struggle growing up, and I um, could not wait to start working. So I did. I started working at, at about 13 years old. I did my first play when I was in junior high school, did Charlotte's Web. Wow. So head over heels with it. I just, I, I felt like I finally found something that fit with me, and, and it just took off from there. I did theater all through high school and college and um, moved out to Long Beach to get my master's in theater. And then from there, kind of transitioned into film and television. And I've been doing that pretty much solely for the last five to seven years, just kind of trying to do the film and TV thing. And now I am so blessed and grateful to be on the most amazing show ever. And I wake up every day thrilled to go to work at Ruby and the Rockets. And I'm having the time of my life. Oh, my God. I'm just thinking I'm sitting back here thinking, I think I love you. <laughs> like that song, and I have to find a way to sing this to you. Oh, well, so much for my uh, partridge in a pear tree type of connection with the show. So talk about this Cassidy family connection with the show Ruby and the Rockets. Well, it is really a family show. I mean, these guys, it's, it's incredible. They've been wanting to do this show for a long time. Sean Cassidy is producing and writing. David and Patrick Cassidy are starring. Ryan, the youngest Cassidy, is actually one of the set decorators on the show. I mean, it's just a family atmosphere. And we actually had Shirley Jones on. She'll be guesting on one of the shows. Oh, great. I know. So, uh, Danny Bonaduce won't be far behind, right? <laughs> I think maybe we'll leave that for uh, season three. I don't know, we'll, okay. we'll see. I'll put a plug in for you. I'll, t- I'll tell them you want to see that. Oh, good. Your, your call. Your call now. <laughs> Personally, if I had a choice, I'd rather see Georgie, your German shepherd, have some type of cameo role on the set. Tell our listeners a little bit about Georgie. I mean, most of the time when you think about people who have dogs in Tinseltown, these dogs are more noted for riding in purses or wanting to uh, shop for necklaces at Gucci. I mean, Georgie's not a purse dog, right? No, she might think she is, but she's about 100 (laughs) pounds. She is the love of my life. And I have to say, I always grew up having dogs, but I never really had one that was my own and I haven't been as involved with like how passionate I have become about animals since I got Georgie just in terms of like I'm a huge supporter of best friends and I'm I am so passionate about rescuing animals now and rescuing dogs and there is nothing that I feel stronger about than people who neglect their animals people who go to puppy mills or buy puppies at the mall I just it is my it's my cause I just am crazy about it and I will take any opportunity to encourage people to rescue to um, there's just so many amazing doggies out there that need homes and I found uh, Georgie at a shelter in downtown LA and did not know what I was getting myself into when I picked her up and took her home and thought she was just going to be this quiet, amazing, cute puppy. And she turned my life upside down in the most amazing way possible. And, 
the first six months were really tough. I thought I was going to lose my mind. Well, you know what, Katie? I call the first months of a puppy's life the wonder year because you wonder, what am I doing? What am I doing? What did I sign on for here? And I also started thinking like, what did I do with my life before I had this dog? Like I must have had so much free time and money because I have none of it now. I have no time. I have no money. And my ankles are constantly, you know, bleeding from her biting at my ankles. And, but I would do it again in a heartbeat because she is the one thing in this town, especially that keeps me grounded and keeps me, you know, it doesn't matter what kind of day I've had at my audition or anything. I come home and George is like, I don't care because I'm the only thing that matters. <laughs> you know, I need Yay. to go for a walk. I need to go for a hike. And that pulls me out of myself so quickly. I'm so grateful to her for that, you know, for just, um, yeah, for giving me that focus. And that focus is her totally. Yeah. Gets you in that present state of mind. Yep. And are there a lot of places you can hike or walk around with Georgie? They're fabulous places. There's an off-leash uh, hike called Runyon Canyon that you can just go and take them. And, and it's about an hour, maybe 45-minute hike. And we do that. We run outside a lot. She loves the ocean. So I take her to the dog beach whenever I can. And she just, ugh, it just is enough to, like, bring tears to your eyes. She bounds into that ocean water head first and just dives into the waves. And it's fantastic. Have you ever gone to the dog beach in Huntington Beach? Or do you just hang out in the L.A. area? You know, we go to Long Beach, which is a little more ghetto, but it suits us much more so. (laughs) Well, I go to Long Beach, so I know the area. I just wasn't sure which dog beach you and Georgie like to go to. And by ghetto, I mean that in the best possible way. I love it at at Long Beach because it's much more kind of... um, I don't know. It's just a little more enclosed. There's a lot more dogs in a smaller area. And Georgie Mm -hmm. does better with that. You know, Huntington... It's really widespread out, and I think she gets a little overwhelmed. So, yeah, we love the Long Beach one. Love it. Now, you said that you've met some best friends, and for our listeners, I just want to clarify that you're speaking of the Best Friends Animal Sanctuary that's based in Utah. And I think I also heard you say that you like to do some volunteer work for the West Side German Shepherd Rescue in the L.A. area, correct? Yeah, before I started working on this show, I was trying to, you know, walk dogs on the weekends for them and just kind of help out. But I've gotten so busy, I haven't done that lately. But the uh, the Best Friends Animal Sanctuary, I I just adore them. And I am I try to sponsor animals as gifts, which is something I totally recommend oh, wow. people doing. Is that when you have that person that you really don't know what to get them, you can go on to the Best Friends website, find a dog or any animal that kind of fits that person, and you can sponsor them in that person's name. Okay. And they receive a whole picture of their animal, and it's just kind of a really great way to give a gift and also help out an animal at the same time. So it's sort of like you don't have to. Your friend doesn't have to pick up the poop or anything, and you get to have a better life for this dog until the dog gets adopted, correct? Exactly. Hey, it's a gift. Yeah. I like that a lot. Instead of uh, naming a star for somebody. Yeah. 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 You know how they do that, where they have this whole program where you can name a star after someone. I like this idea much better. Yes. It seems more beneficial. Sponsor a dog. Yeah, skip the stars. Skip the stars. Sponsor a dog instead. Yep. We have a little slogan there now. I love it. You and me. Let's do it. All right. Hey, uh, speaking of you and me, and oh my gosh, I was checking out some of your acting segments, and I saw one of you on NCIS. I have to confess, I'm in love with Mark Harmon. I think he's just a great actor. And there was a snippet of you on one of your guest appearances on his NCIS show where you were literally beating the you-know-what out of some gal in a courtroom. (laughs) Uh, I guess the setup was to protect your child. Is that right? That's right. You demonstrate quite a lot of rage and range in that scene, so I'm not taking you on, sister. And, hey, and you handle a 100-pound dog, so you've got some muscle in your acting. Yeah, I can kick some butt. I can. Um, Mark Harmon, incidentally, is the sweetest man on the planet. He was so lovely to work with, and I had a great time on that show. Yeah, it's fun. You know, I I love doing everything. People always ask, do you like comedy or drama? And I I love the the butt-kicking scenes. I love to get physical. I love to really, you know, tackle the intense dramatic stuff. But I have to say, I have never had more fun, if I can bring it back to Ruby and the Rockets, (laughs) I have never had more fun doing this show or doing a show than, than I'm on this show right now. And it's, you know, I I know a lot of people say that um, a lot of sitcoms have stuff for the parents and for the kids, but this one really does. It has got such adult humor and yet 
the two teenagers in the show, the kids just, I mean, every girl is going to fall in love with my teenage son and every girl is going to want to be Ruby. I mean, they're just phenomenal. Alexa Vega, Austin Butler, the Cassidy brothers. And we have the most amazing writing staff. We have the people from, you know, Will and Grace and Just Shoot Me. And so it's just, it's just a, a joy to be on it. And I think it's really funny. So I hope people check it out and, yeah, we're on Tuesday nights at 8.30 on ABC Family. and So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be talking with you, Katie, and we're talking with her specifically about her hit show on ABC Family. It's called Ruby and the Rockets. We will take a commercial break and be right back. So sit and stay. Time for a walk on the red carpet, of course. All Behave will be back in a flash right after these messages. Pawfume Dog Grooming and Finishing Spray is proud to be a new sponsor of Pet Life Radio. Pawfume Super Long Lasting Sprays are available in four unique fragrances. Each Pawfume spray is fortified with the finest conditioners and detanglers to make combing out your dog more fun. Pawfume retails for only $2 per 6 ounce bottle. Pawfume is available nationwide at all Dollar General and Family Dollar stores. Why pay more to have your dog smell great? Pawfume, P-A-W-F-U-M-E. Greetings, human. What planet am I on? Welcome to Pet Planet. Here's a copy of Pet Planet Magazine, Florida's most informative and fun pet resource magazine. It features heartwarming stories and informative articles from local and national pet experts. Excellent. Pet Planet Magazine offers Operation Planet Rescue, helping rescued pets find new homes. And it's available at 500 locations in South and Central Florida and 24-7 on the Internet at PetPlanetMagazine.com. If you're out and about with your pet, you may be featured in Paparazzi, Candid Pictures of You and Your Pet. For up-to-date pet-friendly events, activities, and pet-related services and products, Pet Planet Magazine is your final destination. I shall take this magazine home with me. Back to your home planet? No. To my condo in Boca. Pet Planet Magazine. Check them out at www.petplanetmagazine.com or 352-394-8578. It's out of this world. New York, the glitz, the glamour, the exciting Muttropolis, the sparkling kitty city that never sleeps. Join us each week for Pets in the City with your host, Diane West. Celebrity pet sightings, hot events, and news and reviews with the hottest movers, shakers, and tail waggers in New York. So take a bite out of the Big Apple with Pets in the City every week on demand only on PetLifeRadio.com. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. PetLifeRadio.com. Hi, this is Lily Tomlin, and I invite you to listen to the Old Behave Show with Arden Moore on Pet Life Radio. We're back from the lot. Just checked the paper, and we had a record showing at the box. The letterbox, that is. Now back to Old Behave. Here's Arden. Welcome back to the Old Behave Show on Pet Life Radio. I'm your host, Arden Moore. Katie Amanda Keen is here, and we are just getting into the whole Ruby and the Rockets show that airs Tuesday nights at 8.30 p.m. for all of you who live on the East Coast and the Pacific side, 7.30 p.m. for all you Midwesterners. So, hey, let's talk a little bit, Katie. You play Audie Gallagher, and give our listeners a little bit about this role. I saw the first episode that aired in late July, and I want everybody to run over and boost up your ratings. So talk about the show, and who the heck is Ruby? Definitely. Well, it's basically, it's loosely based on, on the Cassidy Brothers' kind of life. I mean, um, in a nutshell, what happens is Patrick and David were this 80s rock band. I was their backup dancer. They were really successful. They split. David went on to continue trying to be a rock star, and Patrick bought a car dealership. We got married, had some beautiful kids. David shows up and says, hey guys, I'm in town playing this Indian casino. By the way, here's my daughter, Ruby, who I just met two days ago. Can she live with you while I go be a rock star? (laughs) And we, of course, all go, oh, David, (laughs) again with, you know, his irresponsible shenanigans. And so we agree to take Ruby in. 
she turns out to be this amazing, beautiful, talented, sweet girl. And, you know, it's, it's really about how not, it's not about how we're trying to make David the perfect dad or make a perfect family. It's really kind of a comment on like, families today are all shapes and sizes and some of them are really screwed up and you know what you just you work with what you have and sometimes that's even better than trying to make some kind of ideal version of a family that doesn't exist and that's what we come to find out is that like hey this is our family we've got some issues but but we're we're working through them and we're loving each other and we're laughing and you know, and it's it's good. So each episode obviously gets more and more into character development and relationships and different crazy situations. But that's the basic storyline. Okay. Well, I think it's a good one. And you've got some talented cast members. I mean, Alex is, uh, wow. I'm trying to remember the trilogy uh, she was in the movie with. What was the name of the movie she played in? Oh, yeah. Spy Kids. Spy Kids. Yeah. I think people will recognize her there and, and the two sons that are on the show, too. They really have good comedic timing. I was watching an episode about the car, that uh, GM fuel car. Right. So they do have good comedic timing, which is great. They're great. Yeah. They're fantastic. I mean, you know, we really, every once in a while you work on a show and you kind of feel like all the stars align a little bit. And it's something that you can't really plan for. You just hope that they do where... Everyone has chemistry and you all get along and the scripts are good and all that stuff kind of lines up and it's like, wow, we're really lucky here. Like we, we hit it and we want to keep going. So, but on that note, I hate to cut it short, but I actually have to run back to the set. I'm just on my quick lunch break and they're expecting me back really shortly now. So, okay, we're going to wrap this up quickly. And I do want the audience to know that uh, your major weakness in life is not chocolate. It's karaoke it is karaoke i'm actually going to a karaoke party tomorrow night and i can't wait i'm gonna like make a total fool of myself and love every minute of it well i think if you have a duet and you did it with georgie uh you could start howling uh, maybe georgie could be uh serve as your backup singer do you know what we do that can i confess that to you i've never sure. confessed that in an interview before but we <laughs> When we drive around town and the ambulances, the sirens go by, we'll start, oh, it's just so embarrassing. I will howl with her. We'll howl together. It's like our little bonding, like, like we're part of a pack or something. And I will sit in my car and I will howl with my dog. And I can't tell you how much joy that brings me. And I've just shared it probably with way too many people. But yep, that's what I do. Hey, I thought I heard you on Interstate 5 when I was in L.A. recently. You know, you and Georgie can carry quite a good tune. Well, we, we work on it in our spare time. I know it's a, it's a little bit of an embarrassing thing to admit, but um, I don't know. I don't even know how we discovered that we, that we <laughs> did that together. But I think one day I heard her howling and I thought it was the sweetest, cutest thing ever. So I tried to get her to do it, you know, more often. And so I would kind of start howling to get her going and then it just kind of became a thing. So, yeah, there you go. Well, you know, I know on Ruby and the Rockets, you guys got a lot of vocalizations there, so I wouldn't be surprised if you don't have a Hollywood guest coming on with uh, Georgie. <laughs> Georgie might do a, a, a canine cameo appearance, right? Oh, man. If if she was more well-behaved, <laughs> I would take her on in a second. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love my girl, but, but she's definitely a strong, independent woman, and I think she'd go a little berserk on a movie set. But um, Well, you are on the old behave show, so this is all appropriate. That's okay. Tell George that's fine. I <laughs> okay. wanted to tell you, I, I love the show. I did catch all three episodes. I'm tuning in on ABC Family. That's Let me make sure I get the times right because I'm in California. It's 8.30 on Eastern and Pacific and 7.30 Central. Is that correct? That is correct. And I know there's been some weird deal. If you have a certain kind of direct TV, for uh -huh. some crazy reason, I think it was coming on at like 5.30. Okay. Um, but just, yeah, the times are 8.30 on the coast and 7.30 Central. But just check your listings and, and make sure that, you know, that that's when it is so you're recording at the right time or you're tuning in live at the right time. So Yeah, because we want the show to be renewed. And I have to tell you, I think um, David Cassidy does a great job of poking fun at himself. I mean, I was pretty surprised to see he really does play full tilt on this character of this aging rock star that is sort of clueless when it comes to his daughter and his family, right? Yeah, I mean, he, I have to tell you, I couldn't be working with a better group of people just in terms of like, not only their sense of humor about themselves, mm -hmm. but just just their everyday kind of like onset 
personalities. I mean, you know, when you have this many personalities working together on a show and everyone obviously is a very big personality, you know, you never know if everyone's going to kind of get along. And I, I, you know, I couldn't be more like blessed and grateful to be working with this group. We all just kind of make it work and it's been a dream. I mean, it feels like a family on set and it's just incredible, but yes, they have a great sense of humor about <laughs> as we well, all have to, right? You know? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Alexa is Ruby. What a great voice, but the two boys, yeah. Jordan and Curtis, Austin and Ben are major goofballs and have <laughs> seemingly to have really good comedic timing. So I have a feeling we're going to see more of them too. Definitely. And Austin actually just had a movie come out a couple weekends ago, I think called aliens in the attic. Um, oh, okay. I saw the premium. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I think that everybody's just in a really good space right now. So hopefully we can keep this momentum going. Okay. And this is sort of a pet show. So I wanted to see before we uh, give you a big pause and applause, anything you'd like to add about either uh, things that you've learned from your dog, Georgie, that are helping you become such a great person on screen as well as off? Is there anything at lessons in life that Georgie has taught you you care to share with the rest of our listeners? Well, you know, I think you touched on it earlier. I think it's having a sense of humor about yourself and about life in general. You know, there's nothing that cracks me up more than my sweet, majestic dog who's like this, you know, very, like, regal, large presence. And she seems so <laughs> grateful. And yet, like, she'll finish a big meal and she'll come up right in my face. And I think she's going to give me a kiss. And she just belches, like, totally loud, right in my face. <laughs> and I have to say, like, nothing kills me more. I think it's the most hysterical thing. And I just look at that face and fall more in love with her. And, and the other thing, too, is I think, you know, I used to be a vi- And I still have some control issues. I'm not going to kid you here, Arden. Yeah. But Georgie has really taught me to, like, let go of a lot of things, you know, in terms Good. of, like, my house. And I'm definitely a clean person. But, you know, after you've had shoes and purses and the occasional bookshelf and, and, and rugs. <laughs> oh, that's good. I'm really glad to hear that you uh, you realize that our dogs are both our interior uh, decorators as well as our best pals. They just that's decorate differently true. than... <laughs> Right. Um, anyway, I wanted to let everybody know we're listening to Katie Keene. She is one of the stars on the new show Ruby and the Rock It's, not Rock It's, Rock It's. And it's That's on right. Family. I want to enunciate that clearly. You've also seen her on uh, NCIS and a ton of other shows. She can play the whole gamut from scare you out of your sneakers to make you double over in laughter. Gal has quite a range. We're very happy that she's been a guest on this show today. And she loves and digs pets, so we, we are very happy she's on our show. Any other final shout-outs before we uh, let you get back to taping the show? No, I'd love to come on again and, and keep you posted on, on how George and I are doing. So thanks uh, so much for having me. Well, we're very honored to have you as a guest. And at this time, I also want to give a shout-out to my cool producer, Mark Winter. He makes this show happen each and every week. And check out more by going to PetLifeRadio.com. And you'll see all my other buddies that have different shows in our fur and winged network. We have tons of things if you like snakes, if you like cats, if you like dogs, and if you dig two-leggers like us, too. That'd be great. So until next time, this is your flea-free host, Arden Moore, delivering just two words to all you two-, three-, and four-leggers out there. Oh, behave! Coast to coast and around the world, it's All Behave with Arden Moore. Find out why cats and dogs do the things they do and get the latest buzz from wagging tongues and tails in Rin Tin Tinseltown. From famous pet experts and best-selling authors to television and movie stars, you'll get great tail-wagging pet tips and have a fur-flying fun time. All Behave with America's pet edutainer, Arden Moore. Every week on demand, this is the place for a special paparazzi treat only on PetLifeRadio.com.